Today we'll show you how to make a cobalt 20 volt power tool adapter so you can use your battery for something else other than the cobalt power tools for example an electric scooter or electric bike I've made a few versions of this in the past the last one was made from plastic salvage from a tool case it was easy to make but because the plastic was thick and hard it required a significant amount of heating, bending, drilling and cutting this time I'm using EVA foam which is extremely easy to cut and shape. This one will be the easiest one to make. There will be nothing else easier to make than this. Stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to make this. So here's the piece of EVA foam I'm going to use. It is 5 mm thick, 7 cm wide and 9 cm long. I'm going to use my heat gun and heat up the foam and mold it into shape and this is the top cover of the battery I have to remove it because it has a latch here that uh, I'm going to get rid of so that it will be out of the way so that it will be easier for me to mold the uh, EVA foam so here it is I got my piece of foam sandwiched between the two battery cases and then it's being held together by a clamp and now I'm just gonna heat up this part here when it's hot enough I'm gonna bend it around so that it will get the shape of the battery all right it's hot enough now I'm using my screwdriver and bend it around I'm just gonna hold it there for about what, 20 seconds or so and here it is after about 20 to 30 seconds i'm also using a fan to uh, cool it down while i'm holding this down that way i don't have to hold this for longer than i have to now i'm going to do the same thing for the other side so here it is both sides are done now let's remove this and uh, check this out is very tight in there and here it is isn't that beautiful and it's gonna remain this shape forever until I heat it up again next step is to cut out this square right here on both sides and these are the indentation on the battery case right here and this square is where when you put this in here it will lock into the latch right here. I'm just going to cut it straight down. Here we go. I cut it on both sides. So now if I slide in here, hear that click. That's when it's locked in place on both sides. It's very secure. It's not going anywhere. Next step is to make the aluminum brackets. And I'm going to use this piece of aluminum here as salvage from an old heat sink. And I'm going to cut it into two strips. Each is about one centimeter wide. This is very easy to cut with an aviation snip like this one here. Just like that. I bent the aluminum into an L shape and drill a hole on the top so I can mount a screw on it. Next step is to attach the electrical cable with XD60 connector at the end. This one I made earlier and I use ring terminal and uh, to connect the cable to the aluminum bracket. If you don't have ring terminals like this one here, no problem. I'm gonna show you how to make one. You're gonna strip the wire first and then you separate the strands of the copper wire into two equal sides and then use a round screwdriver as a mold and then you bend the wire around it and then we're gonna solder it together so here we go it look like that and now we put on a vise and we pound it flat and that's our ring isn't that beautiful Will you marry me? I'm desperate. Come on. And I've got the other one made as well. Look at that. Beautiful. 
Next, we need to install the two aluminum brackets onto the EVA foam and we need to know where to put it on and I'm going to put it back onto the battery case here and then I'm going to press it down when I press this down it's going to take the shape of the slots on the batteries here and that is exactly where I need to cut that's the beauty of EVA foam so soft and so easy to work on and here it is you can clearly see the indentation of the slot onto the EVA foam and it's so clear to see and I'm gonna mark where I'm gonna cut which is right here that's one and that's the second one just like that I'm gonna use my knife and cut out the slot right there and the same on this side here we go I got my two slots cut out and that's the beauty of EVA foam I don't need a saw or any special tools to cut it now we're going to slide the aluminum brackets in just like that same thing on this side all right just like that and then i'm going to puncture a hole so that i can put my screw through there we go and now i can put my screw through that and that's the beauty of eva foam again i don't need a drill to do this and now i just need to mount this wire onto here and i'm just going to need my screw washer and lock nut and the screw i'm using for this is this size now the screw and washer is going to go from the bottom up and it will look like that next is my wire with the ring terminal and then my lock nut on top and it will look like that at this point some of you might ask this part here the screw it's sticking out too much and if I try to slide it in here it won't go in because that is sticking out too much well because this is EVA foam is pretty soft so if I continue to tighten this screw this part here the head of the screw and the washer is gonna sink down into the foam and at the end it will be flush with the bottom surface here and it won't stick out anymore and let me show you what I mean if I keep tightening this you can see slowly the head of the screw sinks into the foam see that until you don't see the head of the screw anymore when it's tight enough there so let's do a comparison here on the right side it's already tightened on the left side is loose and you can see the left side it sticks out like a sore thumb whereas on the right side you barely see the head of the screw anymore I'm gonna use a file to file the leading edge here and then make it a little bit smaller so when you slide in the battery you can go in a lot smoother and easier And I have also installed the XT60 connector and now it is complete. How easy was that? Let's try it on. Locks in just fine. Beautiful. Let's see what we got on the output here. 24 volts. So it's working great. Now let's try and remove it just like that. Go back in just like that. So easy and it locks in place very tight and secure. So there you have it how to make a battery adapters from EVA foam. So 
easy to make. One of my viewers from my previous video, he commented, somebody gives this man a 3D printer. My answer is, well, who needs a 3D printer when you have EVA foam? These things takes me less than 10 minutes to make. Another advantage of using EVA foam is because it's so flexible. The tolerance on this is very low. I mean, you can make a mistake quite big and it would still fit in here just fine because of the flexibility of the EVA foam. That's all for now, folks. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.